Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Tyler. And this Moore League football highlight is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rip Company. All of our football coverage this year is sponsored by our friends down at Memorial Care. All of our Milliken coverage is sponsored by Curtis Boyer. All of our coverage of Wilson is sponsored by Joel Batonio, class of 2009. And this week is Long Beach Gives. So please, if you can, contribute to local nonprofits here in Long Beach. Hey, I know you. It's the familiar matchups we know and love. More leagues starting here once again, kicking off with Wilson visiting Milliken. Milliken without star Ryan Pelham tonight, coming off a disappointing loss to Upland. Wilson going the other way, looking to roll some momentum after picking up their first win of the season last week. Yeah, and the crowd was ready to go. The Milliken mob out in full force tonight, glowed up and ready to show out. And there would be a lot of points in this one, JJ. Rams and quarterback JP Mielowski getting pretty much everything they wanted tonight, like Christmas in September. First to Charlie Broughton, then this way to Loyal Muzan for the Timmy Timmy Tappy Toe and he don't care. 11 yard touchdown, Milliken up 8 0 early. And I love the handshake, Sally. Utter nonchalance. Class, class, class. What can you say? And then Milliken making the most of everything kicker Jaden Acasiano with consecutive onside kicks after scores, and the Rams got both. Good hustle there along the sidelines. Milliken keep that offense churning. On the screen pass for a lot of green. It's Xavier Jones getting loose down the sideline. He's going to go inside the 10-yard line for a 39-yard game. He was jonesing for a touchdown. He'll get it later. Uh, JP gets JJ with the head fake, and it's, hey, Jude. Please catch this pass. And he did. It was Jude Nelson for the touchdown. Rams up 16-0, less than four minutes in. Wilson got a boost from transfer running back Leighton Scott last week. Fed the beast tonight. 19 carries, 204 yards. Guys, 33 is an absolute load, and he runs hard. Yeah, Leighton laying into you right there. Um, but if you're looking to pull off the upset running the ball, you can't put it on the carpet. The Bruins did that in a variety of ways tonight, and that was not good for their attack as the Rams get it back, and that means more points. Milovsky giving him the full Nelson on the ensuing drive. Back-to-back -back completions to Jude, and then close to the goal line, X going to give it to you. Jones goes around and in for the score that puts the Rams up 24-0. At the end of the first quarter, shake hands, guys. Shake hands. Shake hands all around. Business deals exclusively. The Rams' front seven would shut down the Wilson passing attack by getting into the backfield. Three sacks, five tackles for loss for that stop unit. And Milliken moving to score again quickly. Mielowski to Muzan, finishing that run strong. And then look at this window fly open. It's like Beauty and the Beast, JJ. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Mielowski to Broughton. Rams cruising. It's 30 0 early second quarter. On the ensuing possession for Wilson after a good kickoff pins them back. However, great Scott using all 1.21 gigawatts of speed he's got. That is Scott going, yep, 95 yards to the house. One of his three TDs on the night. Yeah, Scott would not be caught. A workmanlike effort from a kid who's really a special talent. You know, the Bosco transfer, we hadn't gotten to see him until last week, and he has been balling out. I can't make this up. Like, this is the stuff that if I came back and I was like, hey, guys, and then this happened, no one would believe me. <laughs> the ensuing kickoff. Here he goes. That's Kyle Parker. Watch Kyle Parker run. Good Parker. Good. Seven is going for six. That's a 97-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. That follows a 95-yard touchdown run. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's parking the whip, but he's taking it all the way home first. Again, shout out to the Milliken mob out in full force. Uh, DeRaven Stadium tonight. They were glowed up. <laughs> nice. Rams getting fancy. JP with the option flip out to Cinco. Jones taking it to the sticks for the first down. And then putting it through for two. Jaden Rapp takes it in for the score. That's the sixth TD of the first half. It's 44-7 Milliken. That touchdown was deeper than rap, JJ. Uh, quick stop for the Rams defense, and then another quick strike for the offense. Mielowski out to Muzan, and Loyal is Mugan. 85 yards for the touchdown. That guy is really tough to track down as he has the track lean at the finish line. And the coaches are like, did you see him? Did you see him do the track lean? <laughs> Rams not done after a Wilson turnover. Mielowski is buying time and finding Matt Robinson? The linebacker looking like a great tight end with a tiptoe TD at halftime. Guys, no joke. It's Milliken 58 and Wilson 7. Woof, hang with him. Here's to you, Mr. Robinson. Uh, and uh, here's to, to the band, JJ. I know this is like one of your favorite parts. Anytime you're at a game and you can talk about the band, here it comes. Absolutely. And they played a song together, which was cool. Is Milliken done scoring? Nope. First play of the second half. 
Muzan is gone again. This one with the cut back dribble drive, 93 yards. Loyal had four catches, three of them TDs for 202 yards. And JP went 19 for 30 for 391 yards and six TDs. Both of those are yak yards. Yeah, those are guys you want on your fantasy team. Uh, not that you can play high school fantasy sports. Please don't do that. Uh, one more look at Scott running the ball. I mean, this is not particularly a close game at this point. And look at him running through that defense. Three touchdowns tonight, as we mentioned. Just uh, can't say enough about what we've seen out of this kid. And here he is on a screen going in. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Plowing his way into the end zone. That's one of the best touchdown runs I've seen in a while, guys. Three defenders just falling off of 33. And one more thing before we go. A special moment for Millican football here. That guy, number 82, that's Dominic Ortiz. They call him Fortnite. One of the smallest people on the field. But I'll tell you what, everybody loves him because he's got one of the biggest hearts. They draw up the two-point conversion so that he can score. One of the most dedicated kids in the program. He never misses a practice. He's going to be there on film on Saturday, doing everything right, leading by example. And it's his birthday weekend, too. Guys, scenes like this is why we cover high school sports. I've never covered a good team in any sport that didn't have a kid like this on their team that they rooted for wholeheartedly. Good on you, Fortnite. Damn, where are we dropping, boys? Congrats, Fortnite. Happy birthday. 79-20 is the final. Wilson's going to host Compton next week while Milliken visits Jordan in what will be game of the week. We remember what a crazy game it was last year. Be sure to go back and watch that highlight. We're excited to see the Rams in J-Town for a huge game in the Moore League next week. Remember, it is Long Beach Gives this September. Help support Long Beach's nonprofits. And if you want anything sports in the 562, you keep it right here at the562.org.